Tesla signing a major deal with Samsung to manufacture AI chips for Tesla cars. Christina Parts and Nevels has got the details in today's Tech Check. Hey, Christina. Hi, Melissa. Well, this is Samsung's biggest foundry win yet. $16.5 billion, you talked about it, equivalent to roughly 8% of its 2024 sales or total revenues and runs over the next eight years. With Elon Musk even suggesting the total amount is, quote, likely to be several times higher. Samsung will manufacture Tesla chips. They're called AI6, and, and it's going to happen in their new fab in Taylor, Texas, which should be up and running in 2026, which was originally the plan, but I'm seeing some reports saying these won't be ready until 2029. The chips will be used to power Tesla's self-driving technology, possibly humanoid robots, and then even possibly data centers. But this push is really part of Elon Musk's plan to restructure Tesla away from just selling electric vehicles and into selling AI and robot-based services like self-driving cars. On X, Musk wrote, quote, the strategic importance of this is hard to overstate. He added that the facility is close to his house and that he'll be, quote, walking the line personally to accelerate progress. For Samsung, though, this could be a comeback moment. Its chip business has lagged behind TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor, which still makes Tesla's current AI5 chip. The Tesla win could finally breathe some life into Samsung's two nanometer ambitions. That's uh, pretty much cutting edge chips, which are faster and more power efficient, designed to power the AI revolution. But it also raises the question, why didn't Tesla choose Intel as an alternative to TSMC, especially if it's built here on American soil as an American company? That said, there's still so much we don't know about this deal. Production won't start for a while. There's no clear timeline. And Samsung may have offered steep discounts to secure the deal. And I say that because TSMC made the chips before. Now it's Samsung, so it's a lot of back and forth. Still, this is a major strategic win and possibly a loss for both TSMC and Intel. Melissa. Christine, and, and I'm glad you went back to Intel because last week when they reported earnings, it was clear when Lip Butan said, we're going to draw a line in the sand, there are no more blank checks. It really sounded like they're they were really backing away from that foundry business. And this seems to say, you know what, we're going to see the entire, you know, all of this growth to another player. Especially in the 10Q for Intel, it also said their latest advanced manufacturing node, which is um, now I'm blanking the A14. They said that if they do not get the external customers, they are more than willing to shut that down and move on. So what is he telling us, Lip Bhutan? He's telling us that Intel is willing to essentially be gone with its most advanced manufacturing processes, possibly be gone with the foundry business and become maybe a fabulous chip company uh, once again. So that was, a, I guess, a, a hint as to what could come for Intel. In regard specifically to this deal, the Samsung deal, Intel talked about having an external customer uh, just a few quarters ago, and then all of a sudden, we don't hear anything about it. So I wonder if something happened. Maybe there was a conversation with Tesla, but then the yields weren't good enough, and, uh, you know, they said goodbye, and they went to Samsung instead. Yep. Christina, thanks. Christina Partsenevelis.